Okay, welcome back to another video on the Royal Enfield Meteor. This is just going to be a quick review um, from us. I've got the full review on a recently added video, which I'll just put a link into. So, when we talked about the bike in the other video, loads of people were commenting on the colours and the specs and that kind of thing. So, I just wanted to follow up that and just kind of explain what bikes were available, the three different tiers, the colours, uh, and what you get with each tier, basically. So let's let's start on the Royal Enfield page, and we'll just go through and look at some of the different tiered options and the various colours. So let's start off with the Fireball. Fireball is the one that everyone's going to be going for. When I talked to my dealer about the Royal Enfield Meteor, the Fireballs had outsold the Stellars 2 or 3 to 1, and the Supernovas 10 to 1. So everyone's going to be riding these these fireball bikes and they come either in the red gas tank or the yellow gas tank with rim tape that matches. So if I go back to the red, you can see it's got the same uh, colour rim tape. Notice that the front fender and this oil tank or whatever this uh, um, piece of material covers, whatever this uh, body panel covers, is not colour coded, uh, which it is on some of the other options. So you also have no backrest and you've got a matte black exhaust system and a few other bits and bobs uh, that differentiate the fireball. But the fireball looks quite sporty. So you've got a sporty look, nice visible colours. You know, I know a lot of people really like the yellow. Um, the one I test rode was actually yellow. So let's move up now to the Stella range. Stella comes in black, comes in a dull uh, or less vibrant blue, a richer blue, should we say, and it also comes in red. Uh, this this red, people have commented, is a bit like the original Thunderbird colour. Um, so you've got you've got three different colour options. <clears throat> so you've got two for the uh, Fireball, two for the Supernova. You've actually got three for the Stellar. So the Stellar's got the uh, colour coded front fender, colour coded here, colour coded rear. It's got backrest, which you can see there. And it's also got a chrome exhaust. Well, people say this is chrome. It looks more like a satin, like almost like a nickel. I'll have to see one in the metal to really comment on it. But it doesn't look like chrome uh, to me. So I'll, I'll take a look at that when, I, when mine's delivered. And I'll give you a full, full opinion on it. So also to note, the badge Royal Enfield is on a, a embossed um, sticker rather than just adhesive uh, raised lettering. So it's a little bit more detail there. Um, what about the mirrors? Are the mirrors uh, alternatively coloured? So you've got black there, and it looks like they've gone for the, the silver or chrome on the Stella. So the black Stella, I'll just give a bit of opinion here. I don't particularly think it suits the character of the bike that much. Uh, yeah, I think the, the more classic or bright colours fit with the, the character of the bike, having Test Road one now. But all are good, um, and you know, I think loads of people would be very happy with the red and green fireball. That will be the most popular. Let's jump now from the Stella, so I'll go up in order. So you've got fireball, red and yellow. Stella is the black, the uh, deeper blue, and the, the sort of rose uh, wine red, you'd call this. Let's go jumping into the supernova. So supernova shares some elements of the Stella. You've got... The chrome or satin exhaust system, colour coded uh, this tank here or, or this um, this panel here. The, the teardrop tank is actually two tone with the, the colour, uh, chosen colour at the top, and then they all have the, the black. Yeah, I say they all, there's only two, but they have the black underlay. You've got the chrome wing mirrors as you do with the Stella, and you've got this screen, which is actually a touring screen. I'll come back to that later. The other thing, you've got the backrest and you've got these polished faces on the spokes, which makes them a little bit different. I think it makes it a little bit more premium than the Fireball and the Stella, actually, because neither of those have those uh, polished faces. Let's talk about the seat. So the seat is brown leather or brown uh, leather-like material. I haven't seen it up, up close enough to, to affirm wh which one it is. It's quite hard to tell anyway. Um... And then you've got more black, I guess, on, on the trim. But for much from muchness, these three uh, tiers of bike are very, very similar. And that's reflected in the close pricing between the, the different models. So let's then move on to, um, from colours, 
uh, two media reviews. No, we'll find it. Do, do, do. Okay, let's come over to Royal Enfield Genuine Motorcycle Accessories. Here we've got Stella uh, in the red, color coded, as you can see. It's got a few optional extras that you could, the, the discerning amongst us could make out. So you've got a, a, a bash guard there, got an engine. Um, frame there to stop the engine getting damaged if spike topples over and you've got a small fly screen so oh and also the exhaust looks a little bit different so this is an optional extra up bike so let's come down to look at the extras we can get so you can get a variety of different end caps for the exhaust so indian rupees if you convert that to, to pounds it's about 100 to one so Obviously, I don't think they'll sell them the same price in the UK as they do in India. But say, imagine this is going to be in order of magnitude 20 to 30 pounds. I could be way off, but I'm just guessing using a bit of a rough calculation. Okay, um, we've got the silver straightened end cap and the tapered end cap. So this will look pretty good uh, with the Stella and the Supernova with their silver or almost nickel looky like uh, exhausts. You've got uh, black bar end mirrors. Uh, you've got the Royal Enfield logo embossed on them. Uh, looks quite smart. And then you've got engine guards, which again, it's probably more suitable for the Indian market. And um, these are priced at, in the Indian market, about 31, 30, 30 pounds. Um, imagine it'll be maybe double here uh, as, as, as the, the, the price is higher here. This is quite a nice feature. So you've got silver deluxe foot pegs. So you can imagine that would upgrade the standard sort of pegs to a more comfortable place to rest your foot. And you've got those in black as well. So these probably go for the fireball. Probably get these to tie in with the 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 silver trim pieces on the Stella and the Supernova. Uh, various different seats. So you've got black low rider seats brown low rider seat i think these seats are probably the standard items just different colors i'm not 100 percent on that um obviously if you wanted to swap maybe you had a, a stella and you wanted a brown seat you could you could purchase it as an optional extra there um let's come on to this black commuter pannier rail so that's quite useful we could hang panniers over it i'll probably look into getting those myself 1800 rupees so we're looking at about 20 quid in, in uh, UK money and that say that's double um, they might add a bit more on um, for extras so it'd be about 40 or 50 pounds right the fly screen so the fly screen is a small um, windscreen a small uh, windshield for the bike they've got that there tinted just to give it more sport so you can imagine people fitting those maybe to the meteors tying with the rest of the theme of the bike and then you've got some straight cut silencers, tapered silencer in the silver and um, black. And then you've got a combination there. I, like I said, I have to have a look at the exhaust just to see whether it's worth upgrading. Um, it looks like it wouldn't be a great deal of money. So if you really loved your bike, it might be worth upgrading. Yeah, and then you've got the, the backrest seat pad. Further down is a backrest frame. So you need to uh, uh, combine that with the frame. Uh, more fancy engine guards, triple bars here versus uh, the single bar. Probably, again, are not hugely relevant for the UK market. Okay, now we come to something interesting. So, brown touring rider seat. So, it's, it's got the stitching there and it's got more of a, a sort of, I want to say, backrest for your your rear. Uh, and similar here, you've got a, a less detailed um, you can't see the white stitching as much. It's obviously colour matched or slightly off. Uh, but it's not as overt as the stitching in this one. Royal Enfield in the seat. So I guess if you're doing a lot of miles, you might look for the panniers. You might look to upgrade the seat. Coming further down, here's the passenger backrest that we talked about earlier. And then you've got touring seats for the passenger in brown and black. Have to look at those to figure out whether they're much more comfortable. Maybe they've got gel seats or something like that technology just to make it a bit comfier. Combinations of silencers again. Okay, so here we've got a touring screen. So these are standard, as far as I can see, on the Supernovas. But if you want to outfit your Fireball or your Stella with one, you could fit one of these. Um, so you see it's a bit taller than the fly screen, more wind protection. Okay, so 
touring mirrors angled out, um, you're getting, gonna get more visibility. I don't know how they compare to standard standard mirrors, to be honest. Maybe they're more uh, adjustable or something. Bar end mounts, just finish off the bars that we need to. And then you've got this sump guard, which probably unlikely to use in the UK. I think most people will be using these for city riding. It won't really need to go into the uh, uh, rough and ready roads that may be more present in the Indian market. Okay, so you've got some panniers that you can fit. Um, various combinations of silencer again. I mean, I'm not sure if they've repeated this um, or if it's different shapes and different colours. So it just seems like there's a lot of the same thing. And then finally, you've got the brown plated seat cover um, and black pleated, sorry, seat cover. So a variety of options you can get for the bike. And um, yeah, if you like the options, give us a comment. And what are you going to fit on your Royal Enfield? Okay, I'll catch you in the next video, guys.